Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Adam J. Pestridge and welcome to another P3D video. Uh, today we're talking about the installation of uh, prepared version 5.1. Uh, if you're a new user to version 5, if you're coming off 4.5, or an upgrade if you're on version 5.0 and you're upgrading to version 5.1. It is straightforward, but at the end of the day, if you get it wrong, you're just basically not going to get the best experience from 5.1. So, uh, there's a few things you need to do first, prep your PC. First off, bring up a command prompt, right, and run it as administrator, and in this command prompt, type in sfc forward slash scan now, and just let that run a scan on your PC. What this is basically is Windows uh, 10 operating system checking the verification of itself, um, checking the files to make sure that they're all uh, not errored or corrupt. It's so easy for a Windows update to become corrupt or even section of your hard drive to corrupt the operating system itself. So what you want to do is you want to run this scan three times. If it comes back and it says nothing, run it again. If it still says nothing, run it a third time. And if it still says nothing, you most likely your operating system, the software is fine um, and you won't have any problems from that. Um, if it does come back with any errors, it will actually fix it itself. It will replace broken files and it will um, just <laughs> sort itself out. Basically, you won't have to do anything but hit enter. So leave that to run that. Uh, another thing to do is head into your back office, as it were, uh, go to update and make sure your Windows updates are absolutely fine. I did run this this morning to check and it came back with nothing, but this can literally change within five minutes. Um, it can say, oh, suddenly you need an update because not only is it checking the Windows uh, updates itself, but if you click down in additional advanced options and have the receive updates for other Microsoft products, it's actually taking updates from the Microsoft Store for any apps you've got installed, uh, even your driver for your GPU. The uh, NVIDIA control panel, for instance, on the NVIDIA cards is actually contained in the Microsoft Store and isn't actually part of your driver installation. So it can be downloading this and updating this on the fly as well. So it's there's many different updates. Another thing to update is obviously your uh, NVIDIA or your, your GPU driver, making sure that that is up to date and um, that is current making sure this is up to date and making sure this is current. You can even check for updates here, making sure you have the game ready driver as well. Um, unless you are a developer and you use like Photoshop or Adobe Premiere or any other developer tools like constantly, you will use the game ready, dr game ready driver. The studio driver is like it says, just for creative applications. Um, so if you're a developer or a, a creator and you use those types of tools, then you will download the studio driver. If you, you have a flight simulation rig or a gaming rig, then use the game ready driver. That's the only difference really. And you can easily check for updates as well to make sure you have the latest game ready driver. Or if you're an AMD user, I'm sure there is a different, uh, set, a similar way to doing that as well. Um, once you've checked all that and you've run your scan three times, uh, the final thing I would say is if you get and download, uh, the free, uh, CC cleaner, it's a really handy tool. Uh, to keep your flight sim and your PC in check. Um, I do actually have the pro version so I can do a full system scan and it will actually tell me if any programs need updating, uh, including itself. Um, I won't run the scan now, but also in the free version and the, the one the one item we're going to use this for is the registry check. 
just scan for issues and it will scan your entire system and if there's any problems with paths like here we go it's found these unused file extensions it will delete them it will remove them now i'm not going to execute this now because we're running out at the same time a uh, this is still going so there you go did not find any violation so i can exit out of that and actually now i can uh fix these um usually it's best to make a backup of your registry just in case it doesn't work like if it breaks something else you can actually go back and change it but for the most part this will actually sort out any uh remaining files that are obsolete on your uh soft on your pc um and basically clean up your uh, your pc very quickly um, and easily and if you have the pro version you can do a complete health check as well and it'll scan everything um, that's advisable to run at least once a week i would say with uh that windows um you know scan now thing running that basically whenever you have an issue right now that you've prepped your pc and it's all running uh, easy now we can install to 5.1 and we know that none of our pc is going to get in the way basically um so first things first is going to get the download uh get into your store uh, your account download the winrar version um i i have actually in the past recommend getting the separate files if you're on a wireless connection or if you're on a really low uh connection getting those separate files may be easier because at the end of the day no matter what you download the bigger the file size the longer it takes the longer it takes to download something on a wi-fi or a very bad connection meaning if it dropouts if there's dropouts in the connection it can actually corrupt the the um the file now winrar is special because if this is corrupt it will actually tell you like when you go to open it and try and you know extract it it will actually say uh you know, corrupt if it is corrupt it has a hash checker inside of it basically so all you have to do really is extract here okay right secondly we're going to go save a few files uh, if you're upgrading from 4.5 this isn't necessary okay you're most likely what you're going to do if you're upgrading from 4.5 just uninstall everything and start again that is your safest way to know that things will work um, I wouldn't recommend uninstalling Skyforce though if you happen to use that because you can carry that forward into 5.1 but it's not native to it so keep it on your system but all your other add-ons you can actually uninstall and reinstall the version 5 ones now if you're upgrading from version um, 5.0 what you want to get to do is go into your app data folder roaming lockheed martin and prepared version 5 and actually copy to your desktop your prepared cfg if you've edited it if you haven't edited it don't even worry about it you won't need it um, to be honest you're going to get a different uh, prepared CFG file in 5.1 so uh, if you have edited this one you can transfer the values over to the new one but just don't replace the new one with your old one because it will be different um, the next set of files you want to save is go into your program data Lockheed Martin prepared version 5 and take the add-ons and the scenery and save that to your desktop these are crucial steps okay once you've saved that then head over to your uninstallation window and uninstall the client once you've uninstalled the client uninstall content then scenery and finally the last one at the top once you've done that you will have files still left on your system if you're in 5.0 if you're in 4.5 most likely it would have nuked everything but in 5.0 it will leave on here what isn't a part of the sim so you'll still have orbix here pmdg some scenery uh, probably and a lot of other files as well and that is fine uh, when you finish that just run the installer that you've downloaded from from your account and go through the motions um, when it says uh, on the client here when you go to uninstall it do you want to deactivate your license say no if you're coming from 4.5 say yes once you've done that 
you've installed now up to 5.1 you need to run your simulator okay you need to run your simulator once okay and it's very important that you do So it's very important that you run your sim once, okay? Because it's going to build files uh, that are crucial um, during that first run up. And it doesn't have to be anywhere fancy. You can literally load the default flight in. Then once you've done that, exit out of your simulator and restart your PC, okay? The very next thing you're wanna, gonna do is go back. If you're coming off 4.5, you won't need to do this because you'll be now installing all your add-ons and you'll actually be good to go. You'll just need to do some other things in Orbix, which I'll go through in a second. If you're coming off 5.0, what you're gonna do is gonna put your scenery, your scenery file and your add-on file back into this folder here. Open up your program data and put these two files back in, add-ons and scenery, and all your add-ons and all your scenery will be back into 5.1. The only other thing you need to do is open up Orbex and verify all your add-ons in Orbex, and that is it. You can now fly and you're good to go and you won't have any issues. If you're coming off 4.5, there is a couple of more steps you need to do in order to uh, fully get this going. So if you're using uh, 4.5 and you're coming into 5.1, there is a couple of things you need to do with your Orbex products. Firstly, or sim load up your Orbex app here and you'll notice that you have a choice now between version 4 and version 5 because Orbex now has detected that uh, version 5 is installed so it gives you the choice. Now if you don't see that, you can go to the gear icon and you can go to help and you can sync simulator and what will happen is it will basically you know write all your Orbex products back to your sim and to then come and sync simulator um, and then that ch check option should appear um, when it appears um, move your Orbex products out of the version 4 fi file um, and then tick make sure Orbex isn't loaded when you do that and then tick the number five option on here and then you will see a whole load of your add-ons that are not green they'll look like this little gray circle close orbex down okay make sure it's shut take all your add-ons that you've moved from version 4 and pop them into this newly created folder called version 5 and just add them into there and then when you load up orbex next again sync your simulator and all your Orbex products will now be in your sim. All you need to do is go into Orbex, load it up, and head to your global areas and just verify the files. Other than that, you won't need to do anything. Some of the files will need updating. You'll probably have a whole heap of updates um, coming down the pipeline for 5.1. But other than that, you won't need to do anything. You can then go and enjoy 5.1 and enjoy it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Make that bell ring to get all my videos. I've got loads more coming up uh, to do with 5.1 and the usability of it. A lot of people have been having issues. Uh, it works fine for me. Um, it's just my PC. That's the potato. Anyway, take care, and I'll see you again.